one of three transgender people that I know of in the local, and I've got to say, it has rarely been a problem. It's a lot easier being out of the closet now than it was when I first started. Hey, my name is Marie Autry. I work for RF Knox Sheet Metal. I've been here for nine years now. Been in the sheet metal trade for 25. My job title is journeyman, and that means I'm supposed to be able to do some of all of it. I can form the metal, I can put the pieces together, I can lay out patterns if need to, I can weld. The word journeyman means that you're supposed to be able to pick up and go anywhere, land on any job, and do what is asked of you. Uh, we take that pretty seriously. I transitioned in 1994, so no one in the local knew me when I was pretending to be a boy. There, there was a lot of suspicion about me initially, and then they realized I was here to make a living just like the rest of them, and nobody talks about it, but there's not really much to be said about it. I feel like the, uh, the outreach to me as a queer person was very direct and, and very caring, and they were looking to make sure that I had a place in Local 85 that would uh, last my whole career. Working union means that you've got your protections written into the contract. None of this is based on on the whim of, of some boss. Um, if somebody gives you a hassle, you've got a union steward on every job that you can take your complaint directly to. And if you're looking at paying for an expensive surgery, making $35 an hour and I didn't finish college. A lot better than the kind of low-level service jobs that trans people often end up with. It's good training. We teach you the correct way to do everything. And there's no reason why women can't take this job and prosper in it. Hell, the vice president of the local is a woman.